The Nigerian Senate has on Wednesday suspended Senator Abdul Nengi for three months over allegations of 3.7 trillion pardon of the 2024 budget. Before Senator Nengi's suspension, the upper legislative chamber was thrown into a chaotic session following deliberations on budget pardon allegations made by the lawmaker. Chairman of the Senate Committee on Operations, Solomon Olamileko, uh, uh, Olamileko, yes, uh, who moved the motion that led to the suspension of Senator Nenge, explained now the figure is not contained in the budget because some of the agencies are on false line charge. However, Senator Nenge, who was given a fair hearing, argued that uh, 3.7 trillion naira cannot be accounted for in the 2024 budget. The two documents we have here was shared to the 109 senator of the, of the Senate. Containing this document under the volume one, paragraph two, three, and four, is the breakdown of the 28.77 trillion budget that was passed. And from paragraph seven, eight, at the breakdown of the budget, which we call the budget details of the entire MDAs. And when you add this figure together, as contained in this document for the entire MDAs, it comes to 25.4 trillion naira. If you have listened, all your agents have listened to the Arise interview and the Correspondent Chapel interview, I said categorically, the president powers stopped as a proposal, as he proposed the budget. And I said, there is no way the National Assembly will add anything on the budget and it becomes fudging. The tapes are there. I said the National Assemblies have powers and you cannot call that powers padding. And I said, I'm very grateful to the presidential spokesman who encountering me said the National Assembly added 1.27 trillion. And I was very clear. I was not aware of the addition. I was not even aware as I'm seated here of the full budget of the National Assembly. However, Senator Agum Garibe emphasized that all lawmakers are culpable in the alleged budget pardon scandal, with some receiving 500 million naira and others as much as 100 billion naira. This led to around the session with uh, Garibe's claim causing a delay of nearly 30 minutes. Put and back on these issues and coming up with issues of the budget and individual uh, issues concerning what came to our various constituencies. If we want to go into those issues, all of us are called people. Some senators here, so-called senior senators, got 500 million each. I am a ranking senator. I didn't get. Did I go to the price? Most of you got. And yes, if we want to go into those issues, excuse me, if we want to go into those issues, yes. Where Mbam Dele, the Senate leader, accused Senator Nenge of plotting a coup against the Akwabio Senate presidency, claiming it was a result of the June 13, 2023 election, which elected Akwabio as a Senate president. Number one, I stand with due respect to say that what my big brother, distinguished Senator Abdul Nenge, who I respect so well, plan to do or set out to do was tantamount to a civilian coup which has failed. And in doing this, he wanted to use the platform of Northern Senators Forum. God bless all those who have dissociated themselves as members of Northern Senators Forum. I am telling you, sir, and I want Nigerians to know, I say it for history, the last time the people of South South that you represent had a chance to be Senate President was over 40 years ago. The last time the entire people of the South had a chance to be Senate President was during Obasanjo regime, when he went to the Southeast. Five people were 
elected because they were impeached in quick succession. But as soon as it left the South, we had peace and stability again because we would always cooperate. Now, Jim O'Brien, a Senate Appropriation Committee member, proposed Ningu's suspension for 12 months due to allegations of criminal misinformation and breach of peace. However, Senator Asuko Ekweyong argued for an amendment requesting a reduction in the suspension. The Senate should send a, a warning letter to Senator Suleiman Abdurrahman Kau, and uh, this should be, should be warned for to stop posting, you know, uh, inciting informations that are not right, and then it should turn an apology. It should it should stop posting all those uh, informations with a way of distorting facts. I would like to amend the prayer as moved by Senator Jim O'Brien. I amend that the suspension period be reduced to six months. I so move. Any second there? Now, on the Senate's President Gosson Barbie's leadership, Senator Iningi was now therefore suspended for three months from Parliament activities, while Senator Kawu received a warning. I agree that where the Senior Senator Abdul, uh, Abdul Ningi shows remorse in writing through apology to the Senate that such should be deliberated and decisions should be taken by the Senate if such occurs. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Whole? Yes. Accordingly, the Senate Hereby, once the distinguished senator Ismail Akawu from posting or reposting falsehood or items capable of uh, causing division or breakdown of law and order in the country. Now, shortly after his suspension, Senator Abdul Nenge resigned his position as the chairman of the Northern Senators Forum. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.